ahead of yourself yet, Robbie. He's in uncharted territory, and the same could be said for the man he's just referenced, top seed Stephen Bunting, whose best performance at Lakeside to date was the 2011 quarterfinal. He was a massive favourite, though, to go through against the Netherlands' Rick Hofstra, but they split the first session, taking two sets each. Then Bunting found a little form in the fifth to go 3-2 up, and it's one leg all in the sixth, and that's where we drop in on the action. Forty-five. This year, Rick Hofstra, runner-up at the Tops of Ghent, losing to Ross Montgomery. Beaten by Robbie Green in the last 32 at the World Masters. And you've got to go back to January for a German Gold Cup victory. Just being put under pressure now. Bunting with his eighth, Hofstra with his sixth, the tournament with its 200th. And if you do come all the way from New Zealand and lose your first round match, having won your preliminary, it's pretty good in the crowd. Only dart number six that stopped perfection there. There is Mike Day, all the way from Auckland. He's had fun. 43, Mercury Corner, 136. Jan Decker, enjoying the fact that the tension is on other people. Ninety-six. Stephen He'll fancy his chances here, Rick Hofstra, not least because Stephen hasn't hit anything over 84 all tournament. 84. Rick, you're requiring 14. Tops to hold his throw. Did miss a couple in the last leg. They dent the confidence. There's another one gone. And another one. Needs this. Yeah, there's been shot and a third line. And gets it. Rick Ultra. Four like it's Stephen to throw first. Came on. Ninety-seven. There you go, Wilma, he says. That's what I can do. 96. But there, says Stephen. That's what I can do. 9-6, he leads in terms of 180s in this game. 99. 97 and 180 in this leg for Bunting. Cursory glance at the scoreboard. 60. On a finish. 73. Stephen, you require 164. 20s then for Stephen. Again in a position just to set things up for himself. 88. 76 left. He's looking for all the world at the moment, as though we're going to go to another crucial, decisive leg five. in set number six. Stephen, you're requiring a 76. In which the pressure will really be on Rick Hofstra, but first of all, Bunting's got to finish this. 16 for double top. 56. Sped up. Rick, you're requiring really sped up. 28. Oh. Bullseye. Now up for the treble 20. 48. Stephen, you require 20. 
Double ten then for Stephen Bunting. Yeah, that's getting shot at the fourth line. Stephen Bunting. He's missed 40 Step doubles. Back, it's Rick the throw first. Game on. Almost half of them set darts. But if Stephen Bunting can break here, he'll fancy his chances of romping away. Well, 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 but it's a big if because Hofstra under pressure started with a ton 40. Still struggling at top, Stephen Bunting has only hit it well, twice well. in 14 attempts in this match so far. Not a single set really where Stephen's finishing has been exceptional. One on the Two 140s over Rick Hofstra at the beginning of a leg that for him is crucial. Wins it, it's 3-3. Loses it, he's 4-2 down. Only the one leg Nine separating nine. the two men at the moment. Ton 40 and ton 40 is mighty impressive. When you're throwing at two legs all for three sets all. That's pretty good too. A finish of one, two, five. Can Bunting claw himself to a finish? 138. You betcha. It's a pressure on 125. Rick Hofstra. Just adjusts. Needed the treble for a finish. 61. He Stephen has 64 left. 164. It'll be Stephen's first big check out of the tournament. It's not going to happen. So Hofstra. Again in with a chance, 64 for the set to tie it up at three apiece. Two legs all, 64 points all. Hofstra with a first crack at it, 16 and double 16. 32. He missed big 16. That was really wild. Stephen, requires 64. Not only did he miss it, he missed it the wrong side of the double. What can Stephen do? This is for 4 2. Double eight. Yeah, yes! that's been shot. And the six out. Stephen Mulder. Surely now. Surely now the bullet has fired his way into the semi finals. Seven set first lock. It's Stephen to throw first. Game on. Well, the bullet is hot. And for the man from Friesian, it looks as though things are now pretty black and white. Three sets Nine left. Seven. He's got to win them all. 2 0 up, he was. 4 2 down now. That makes it sound as though he's just imploded. Hasn't been the way of it at all. It has been nip and tuck all the way through. Sets six four, eight. five, and six have all gone to deciding legs critically. Bunting has won them all. And going through Rick's mind now, what happened when he was on 64? Single 16, no problem, 48 left. Did he just change his mind mid-throw? It was really bizarre. Looking for big 16, puts it the wrong side of the double. Still 48 left, only with one dart. One on Although he set up the finish, he never got an opportunity to try and take it out. And it's the kind of error that is so critical against a player of any calibre, let alone Stephen Bunting. I wonder party. if he aimed at single eight. Changed his mind, literally mid-throw. Aimed down a bit towards the big 16, just assuming he'd hit it, because for these guys, hitting big 16 is 99 One times nine. out of 100, if not 99 and a half. And just overcompensated under pressure. Decided instead of going eight tops, 16, 97. double 16. Either way, a big moment in this match. And Stephen now already on a finish of 74. One on row. Stephen, you require a 74. The first leg of set number seven. It will take him within two legs of a place in the semi finals. 20 for double top. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. The first he is firing now on all six.
cylinders. Second line gets with the full first. Not Hang a vintage on. performance from Stephen Bunting, but the finishing line is approaching. It's only the third time he's hit double top all match. 96. He arrived at the lakeside saying things are looking bubbly for the bullet, having practiced his doubles, but back to the practice board. 16 out of 56, 29%. That's simply One not good away. enough. That is not championship winning form. And if he had a bit of an aura about him ahead of this quarterfinal, he's lost it. Even if he does go on 16. to win 5-2. Well, it's easy to build up an aura when you do what he did in Hull, when he retained his World Masters title without dropping a single set all 85. the way through. N not that easy. Well, what I'm saying is it's easy to build up that kind of aura. If you can, if you can do that, then today you're two down against Hofstra in the quarterfinals. Looking ominous now for Rick Hofstra, part of a big Dutch contingent, a Dutch contingent that will be swelled over the uh, forthcoming months by the arrival back on the BDO tour of uh, Coach Stomper. 60. Just going back to Steven Zora. 43. Or is a, take a while to, to create, a very quick to, to dissipate. Just ask Manchester United. Monte. Steven, you require 158. A lot of self appreciation. 158 here for Bunting. Another treble. Double 19, 158. Yeah, the the Biggest finish of the tournament by a street for Stephen Bunting. And it moves in within a leg of his first ever World Championship semi final. Magnificent 158 against the Hofstra throw. He's nearly there. Fifty-eight. the finishing line very much in focus for Stephen Bunting has Rick Hofstra got any fight left in him having seen Stephen take out 158 to move a leg away that would break the hearts of 39 lesser men Seven bounce outs in this game for Stephen Bunting. However, with six darts, he's got one point fewer than Rick has with three. Back he comes. 125. Well, Wesley Harms is one for watching the DVDs and analysing every leg, every set, where things went wrong. It's pretty clear for Rick. Only one leg of darts really he needs to watch. The last one of set number four. Missed set darts. The double 16, double eight. Lost the leg. And instead of being 3 1 up at the break, it was 2 2. And from that point, it very, very rapidly went south. Yeah, he's coming now. He's on his way. Isn't it extraordinary? A match can turn on two missed darts. Stephen Bunting has missed 19 set darts. Rick Hofstra has missed just Steven, two. 84. This is for the match. I missed the big 14 there. Well, well, well. You would have left him ball. 44. Tops if he comes back. Got to take 97 out. No two ways about it. This is 
massive. Treble 18. Some way away, truth be told. 57. This is it then for Stephen Bunting. Man, long, long seen as a world champion elect has never got past the Good. corner finals Short. until now. Tops for the bullet. 2-0 down. He wins 5-2.